neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The, the kickers got them all set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. The Spartans have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week in, as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Well, he's known for locking down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carrier. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 28. Zips it to the back. five-yard line. It's third down. Dangerous pass, and they just about had it going the other way. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Booming kick. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 42-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Brought down at the 47. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Now he's back, but he can't hang on. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Touchdown. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. It's a tough break, but he's going to get another chance today. What I want to see is if he'll change his running style after losing the ball like this. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Makes it to the 14. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Hey, 
Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. And it pays off. Touchdown. the extra point with a three play 22 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown they line up to kick this one away he's out to the 30 they'll bring him down at the 32 the Tigers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Throws it in a hurry. Steps out of bounds around the 33 yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. made the 42 yard line wow a long game but still not enough for the first but well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down he really got a hold of that one little too much leg into that punt they'll bring it out to the 20. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Gives it right side. He's out to the 30. Gets to around the 42. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. From their own 42 yard line. It's first down. And he just gets rid of it. senior they'll bring him down to the 47 yard line and that was just an outstanding pick great play by the defender to high point the ball but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw from their own 47 yard line first down That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Makes the catch and look out. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, huge play. be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. 
I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Zips it out, and it's the tight end. He's knocked out of bounds around the 43-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From the 43-yard line, first down. Down he goes at the 44. Loss of one there for the halfback. third down and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker so at the end of one we get a tie game at 7-7 set to resume action here in the second quarter and we've got a tight ball game Six-yard line. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. This will make it a field goal game. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. stop at the 25 with one quarter down I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads might be neck and neck the whole way brought down after a nice run up the middle second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. Play fake. Throws out and through his hands. So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. at the 22-yard line. The Spartans quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. That's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, 
When you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. On the handoff, big hit, and he'll lose yardage. That makes it third and three. Two times, two times. Here's a running play. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. With the misdirection, they'll drop him for a loss. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. He steps out at the 44-yard line. Nice run there. You know, these big fullbacks aren't usually going to make a lot of moves on you. But when the lineman can give him some room, he can churn out some big yards. First and ten. Ball on the 48. That's a great tackle at the 42. That'll make it second and nine. the stop around the 40-yard line. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. Well, we've got a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter's psyche? Dumps it out left to the running back. Brought down at the 38. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he is drilled at the 26. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. made at the 14-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Tenth play of the drive. And he's level at the four-yard line. He's on the run. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. No one 
could break clear, so the QB decided to run it in. You've got to like it when your leader takes things into his own hands, especially down inside the 10. And he converts the extra point. So an 11 play, 64 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So the score now, 20 to seven. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. tries to buy some time they'll bring him down at the 40 well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback man left, man left. from their own 40 yard line first down he goes out of bounds at the 43 yard line Scrambling. Dives, and he's down. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Scrambling around. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. That's a gain of seven on the play. That makes it second and two. Check, check, check. Hey, switch, switch. They come out on an empty backfield. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. The senior makes the catch. And he tackles him hard at the 21-yard line. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. The Spartans quarterback down there on the sideline, he was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. And it's through the uprights. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. We've played a half of football here. The Tigers with a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. All week long when I would think about this game, I thought that we were going to have a nip and tuck affair from start to finish. Now you look up, the margin is a couple of possessions, a couple of scores. It's a great opportunity for this team to come out in the second half and put this thing away. Yeah, you knew it was going to be a close game, and you feel fortunate to be on the right side of making some big plays. And you don't necessarily know, Reese, if that's going to happen in the second half. So you've got to take advantage of this lead. Make sure that you don't squander. Make sure you don't make mistakes in the second half. But if you're looking at it right now, you're going, I'm pretty excited. I'm up two scores, and everything's going in the right direction. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. They bring him down in the backfield. 
That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. And he's tackled at the 43. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gaining four yards. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 47. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And now the ball is loose. The defense falls on it. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who corralled it for his side. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Makes it out to about the 36. That makes it first and ten. From the 36-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 33. Gets out to around the 18. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 18. Setting up the play action. Throws complete touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A four play, 50 yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score 27 10. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Oh, what a hit. This offense was infected by the turnover bug there last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Second and ten. Ball on the 14. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's going to try and scramble. And he can't get away from the pressure.
Quick pass, and down he goes at the 23-yard line. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. He showed a good burst there. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Heading for the corner. Runs it right. Nice pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Carries the ball for a nice game. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. Takes the toss left. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Nice play to set up first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. They line up in the jumbo set. He's in for the touchdown. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Spartans have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. They'll make the sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers with a 24-point lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. 
We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a shot. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. From the 37-yard line, it's second down. He heaves it to the end zone. Interception. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. Just throws this one away. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 26-yard line. You wonder if they'll go to the no huddle here. Not a lot of time left. That'll bring up 34. Taken down at the 29-yard line. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He takes it right side for a good game. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. right for a nice game. left side it's on the ground picks up the loose ball room around the corner he's at the 30 for the 20 and they make the stop at about the 15 yard line that's a tough break but he's going to get another chance today what i want to see is if he'll change his running style after losing the ball like this so a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble this fumble and I've got to tell you I think he was down before the ball popped loose I don't know about this one Brad they called it a fumble on the field and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call After the, the rule on the field is reversed 
So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Little handoff. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Just over a minute left. He's got an opening. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. in the books. The Tigers with the win. 34-10. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye and we'll see you next time.